Today, Precarious plays Mega Man Battle Network 2. There's an important thing. Yeah. That you should know. Yeah. The reason why. <clears throat> I, the, <laughs> the reason I am like I am. Yeah. Um, with regards to. Magnum. Oh, I guess we should do this. So you're the criminal behind this incident. Yes, you got me. Why do such a thing? Here's a little tidbit for you. I came for the high power program on board this plane. Ha ha ha. Already got it. Completion of the Super Navi is soon. Are you the chairman of Goss Inc? What are you doing involved in such a thing? Well, since you asked, when I was young. <laughs> Oh, is he really? When I was young, I was raised in a poor family, in a raggedy old shack without much food or money. My brother Jack was taken in by a rich family. After that, my parents got sick and died. Oh boy. I was suddenly all alone, and society didn't lift a finger to help me. I hated people. I detested society. I worked like mad to triumph over society, my enemy. Then, I devoted myself to my status. Mm. I gained power over others, the authority to direct society. Mm -hmm. But what I had amassed in life was not what I wanted. What I wanted was... Attention. A new found order. Society is rotten to the core. In order to rebuild this fallen society, we need to destroy everything and start anew. Gospel thinks along these same lines. I quickly rose through the ranks and became the leader of the Super Navi Development Project. When the Super Navi is completed, Network Society will be revolutionized. This will also be my revenge on society. I have been relishing this day for years. When my revenge is over, chaos will come knocking at the world's door and Gospel will be there to provide order. We won't let that happen. Mega Man, move into action. Right now, Magnet Man, delete that meddler for me. As you wish. Battle routine set. Execute. Beep boo. Woof, he's a big boy. He is very tall, yes. I know that you had something that you wanted to talk <clears throat> about. Uno. So, real fast, the reason I am like I am, it's because I only ever got to beat my parents in any board or card game, or video game for that matter, exactly one time. Yeah. And they would never play with me again. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow, that's sad. <laughs> oh. Oh. Darn, they curve. <laughs> oh, hey, wow. Oh, wow. Be back? Yay! You know. Oof. Hmm, when I wish I had guns. I may have to come back with guns. I don't remember if it was this series that I was talking about it on. No, it wasn't. I was talking about my- Why can't I, sh Why can't I shoot them with my buster but I can't swing a sword to damage them? Mm. Be back. Okay. While we were playing Final Fantasy Tactics <sighs> Advance. This is the worst, yeah. I um, I was talking about a theory of why people do what they do, like what motivates people to do things, like which way their leanings are. And there's the idea of mastery and purpose and third one that I can't remember right at this moment. Purpose, mastery, and... <clears throat> Mm, recognition? Mm. Mm. I don't know, but I think that it's clear that I must lean to those two <laughs> because I can't remember the third one. That's pretty bad. Um, you ever gonna take a step forward, bro? It doesn't matter. The point is that I, I require purpose. I require narrative to enjoy things. Uh, I do like mastery. Like, as, as far as going through and playing something just to get good at it, doing something just to be good at it. 
I do like that, but I definitely lean towards meaning as far as motivation for really anything, but games specifically. And one board game that I never, ever cared about is chess. Really? Yeah. I could not get myself to give a damn. And no one in my family was a good enough player to teach me, probably because they couldn't bring themselves to give a damn either. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I guess, ooh, there's a king and a queen and pawns, and there, there, there's definitely some narrative that you could put on ah. top of it. <clears throat> I've got a chess story for you after this, remind me. Yeah, but I, I don't, to this day, I don't think I really know how to play chess well. I don't know, I don't, I know how all of the pieces move, but I've, I just don't care. I, I know I've tried to get, we've tried to play chess, but what ends up happening is that I just make random choices and I feel like I'm not doing any sort of strategic anything beyond like the next maybe two moves, you know? Mm -hmm. My plans <laughs> never, they don't happen the same way that other people's, like good chess players, unfold plans. They create opportunities and think about moves beyond the next couple of moves. They sort of play the game in their heads a lot to try to anticipate what the person across from them is doing, and then the person across from them does the same. And <gasps> oh, oh, wow, whoa. you did it in one. That's Neat. amazing. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy. I was uh, talking all this chess nonsense to give you your brain room to process this fight, but I guess it wasn't a uh, big deal at all because you, you're fine. I was waiting for what I thought was going to be an inevitable loss because with an HP of 1,000, I was like, nah. even if I use Life Sword a couple of times, he's still going to have so much HP. And I was thinking like, and he's going to start doing some bullshit whenever he whenever I hit him with the first life sword and he gets low on HP, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was waiting for an inevitable loss. I am I am excited that he was weak to wood. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. Mr. Goss, I'm terribly sorry for- Gauss, I think. Gauss, terribly sorry for mispronouncing your name. God bless Gospel. <laughs> Whoa, okay, yeah, guys. Yikes. All right. Oh, Magnet Man's been. You. You ruined my hijacked plans. My hijacked plans? You mean you're behind this? No, he's a, he's a private eye. He's a, oh, that's right. Yeah. My, uh... No, that's the pilot. What does what a private eye sound like? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my hijacked plans. You mean you're behind this? Yeah. Damn it to hell. You can't get away with this. I'll catch you. Yeah, see? No, I'm a gangster. <laughs> Hey, stop it. Do you know who I am? Rats. Ma, ma, ma. I've got him. I'll turn him over to the officials once we land. Get over here, you. Ah. <sighs> Thanks, sir. And this guy never really got a voice. Yeah. But this one did. <laughs> Great. Time to uh, land this baby. Thanks, Lan. <laughs> Back to your seats and make it snappy. Sure thing. Mega Man, check out. Sure. Not even a thank you, huh? Attention, please. And now for a long-awaited arrival. We have reached our destination, Den Airport. And for anyone who has shit in their seat, <laughs> we have diapers and changes of pants awaiting you <laughs> at the gate. After a long, shameful walk to the gate. <laughs> Man, that was the feather. That was a feather in your cap. Yours too, Mega Man. We're back. Let's go home to ACDC Town. I'm with you. <laughs> you got go, get to, to your say? seat, Yay. doofus. No, no, we're done. It's done. But he said get to your seat and make it snappy. Yeah, I did it, and then it's done. We landed. Oh, okay. Hmm. <sighs> that one kid's missing. That kid? Oh. He's missing. Hmm. Hmm. What was I talking about? Oh, well, I was just explaining how much I don't care about chess and how how, oh, how sad story. it is. I played chess for quite a long 
time, right? I played a lot of chess. Yeah. Um, and... <sighs> Wait. How do I get off the plane? Chess story next time. Gonna get off the plane now. <laughs> Before it decides to start freaking out and makes makes everybody poop their butts.